Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at triangles on the coordinate plane. So there are a lot of scenarios with the things that we have learned in eighth grade math where there could be a triangle on the coordinate plane. And it's tempting to not read the question and just think you know what to do by looking at the picture. But as you can see here, I have the same picture four times and I'm asking you all different things. So it's really important that you read the question to see what it's asking you about this triangle in the coordinate plane. So let's start with Pythagorean theorem. If the question is asking you to find a length or a distance, you want to use Pythagorean theorem to find that. So this first one says, what is the length of a C, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle? So I'm going to count the vertical and horizontal legs. So this leg would be three and this leg is also three. So to find the hypotenuse, I would do three squared plus three squared to find that. So three squared plus three squared is 18. So I get 18 equals X squared. And then I would take the square root of both sides and I get X by itself and it would be 4.24 units. Okay, another thing they could ask you with this same picture is the slope. If they're asking you for slope or rate of change, you want to find the rise over the run of the graph. So this is, look how similar it looks. All they are asking you to do is find the slope instead of the length. So make sure you are reading. And my first step is even gonna be the same. I'm gonna count the legs of this triangle. I know that the rise is three and the run is also three of this line segment that I'm trying to find the slope of. So my slope is going to be three over three, which is one. Okay, they might also ask you about the y-intercept. Remember that's where the line intersects or crosses the y-axis. So this one says, what is the y-intercept of the line that goes through points A, C? So I'm just gonna extend the line through those points until it intersects the y-axis. And it looks like it crosses at the origin, so my y-intercept would be zero. They might also ask you about a dilation or a transformation. Remember dilations do not produce, or dilations produce similar figures that are not congruent and they have the rules scale factor times X, scale factor times Y. Translations, reflections, and rotations will produce congruent figures. So let's look at this picture right here. It says triangle ABC. This one right here is gonna be dilated with a scale factor of 0 0.8 with the origin as the center of dilation to create the triangle A prime B prime C prime. So that rule, they gave us the scale factor would just be 0 0.8 times X, 0 0.8 times Y. And then the last question, are the triangles ABC and A prime B prime and C prime congruent? No, because the new figure is going to be multiplied by 0.8, so it's gonna be 0.8 times smaller. Okay, let's do another set of those questions with a different picture. So this one is asking for the distance, which means I'm gonna do Pythagorean theorem, between points L and N. So there's the hypotenuse. I'm trying to find the distance of I'm gonna count my legs, that leg is two and this leg is three. So to find the distance, I would do two squared plus three squared equals X squared. So two squared plus three squared is 13 equals X squared. And I would take the square root of both sides and the square root of 13 is 3.6. So it'd be about 3.6 units. Okay, this next question says, what is the rate of change that goes through the, of the line that goes through the points L and N? So I'm wanting to find the slope of that line. So I'm gonna do rise over run. First thing I notice is that that line is going down. So it's negative. The rise is three and the run is two. So the slope is negative three halves. 
Okay, then it's asking for the y-intercept of the line that goes through the points L and N. You can draw your line or you can keep using that three over two slope. I'm gonna go up from point L. I can go up another one, two, three, and right two, and that shows me where the y-intercept is gonna be. And if I drew my line through point L and N, I could see it too. So the y-intercept of this line would be eight. And then last question, triangle LMN is translated four units to the left and two units down to create triangle L prime N prime, M prime N prime. What is the rule? So four units to the left, that's affecting the X coordinate and I would subtract four to move it left. And then two units down, that's affecting the Y coordinate and I would subtract two to move the coordinate down. Are the triangles congruent? Yes, because translations just slide your figure. They do not change the size at all.